Okay, so like we talked about, we have our two goals of either one, getting our partner's uh, elbow across the center line and going into attacks from there, or two, if we can't establish uh, an angular advantage by bringing the elbow across the center line, separating elbows from the body with inside wrist grips in this case. Okay, so we came in, we use inside bicep ties to bring our knees into our chest, get to an overhook, and we use a specific inside wrist grip on our partner versus a straight wrist grip for controlling the hands and making it difficult for your partner to pommel. Now from here we insert the knee inside the shoulder, we post in the hip, we bring the foot up and over, and now we raise our hips to extract our right foot. Now we've covered how can we cover the two problems of a motes and kaku, one covering the shoulder, and two getting a strong connection of our uh, hamstring to our partner's neck. Okay? Now let's say we're going to make a transition into uh, Mote Senkaku and finish, but your partner does a really good job of making sure that her elbow never comes inside the line of her shoulder. So as I go to create an angle, my whole thing is to bring my knee into my chest to bring her elbow inside the shoulder to make a transition. But a good opponent is going to tuck the elbow outside the hip. So now when I go to try to bring my, uh, my knee into my chest, the position of her hand stops me. So now we're going to make a transition to a Huntai Senkaku, just like we did before. Where now instead of scooping with my right hand, we're going to switch. So the right hand grabs, the left hand scoops inside the leg, and now we use that same pendulum that we used before. Where I have to invert my, uh, my, left, my uh, left knee and use a pendulum with my right uh, leg. So that my right or my left knee can invert inside of my partner's head. The whole thing again is to get my left shin pointing up and down towards the floor and not straight across my partner's shoulder line. If we're going to go straight across our partner's shoulder line, we, use, we go to something else. We use kimuras and attacks in the arms. But for strangling purposes, we use a pendulum with the right leg. Again, having the confidence to unlock our legs because we have the collar tie. So when she goes to posture up from here, it's very difficult for her to be able to, uh, to, get, her head, uh, to get her head elevated. So we use a pendulum with the right leg and we invert the left knee as a result. Okay. Our lower back comes up and off the floor. We get the inversion of our head underneath our partner's chest. Now, again, we connect the two legs together and we use a wedge behind our partner's head with our right leg. So when she goes to posture up, now the collar tie is replaced by the right thigh. Now we go up to lock a triangle. They have a strong connection now of our hips to our partner's neck, we have a good inversion of the knee, and when she goes to posture up, it's difficult, and we get a strong finish with our Huntai Senkaku, just like we did before. Okay, so we're gonna start with a closed door. We use inside bicep ties to pull our knees into our chest. We go underhook to an inside wrist grip. From here, we, inside, we bring the right knee inside, we bring the left leg up and over, we raise the hips, and we enter into an initial Amote Senkaku. Now, our cue for whether to go to an Amote Senkaku or a Huntai Senkaku is completely contingent upon our partner's elbow position. If I can get the elbow inside the shoulder, we move to a Amote Senkaku. If she forces the elbow outside the shoulder, we go to a Huntai Senkaku. Or from here we go collar tie, we scoop the opposite side leg, and now we use a pendulum with our right leg to invert ourselves underneath our partner's body. We can also just use a pivot with the right leg to invert yourself, and now start to lock from here. But a pendulum will get you much more mileage because it'll help the inversion all the way underneath your partner's body. Now from here, leg comes up to the armpit, knee comes to your chest so that the uh, thigh wedges the head in place. And now when she goes to uh, posture up, it's very difficult. Now if we have to, we can use a hand assist, pulling the leg up, locking up a full triangle, and then I have strong finishes with a Huntai Senkaku, okay? So again, our cue for a Mote versus Huntai is, can we get the elbow inside the shoulder or not? If we can, we go to a traditional front triangle. If not, we go to a reverse triangle, okay? One, two, three.